Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. We are finally heading out to go and rescue the princess of Alexandria Garnett. Now, um, Zidon has gone and recruited the assistance of Steiner, the captain of the Knights, and Vivi, the little, uh, little black maid, who seems to be kind of out of place. Uh, Alright, let's get that thing to the I had to adjust the audio a little bit. I'm having a little trouble keeping it balanced in this game. Between the audio of um, the battles and the audio of my speaking. I think I got a little bit better. I keep turning down the audio, but it doesn't seem to be, you know, perfectly hitting, you know. As you see, we have our three different character classes. Vivi is very weak in terms of physical attack power. But, the, but he has very strong magic. Zidane is sort of like, uh, what Steiner is purely in a uh, soldier or a warrior class character where everything is high stats in terms of like weapons or physical attack and defense. Strength 24 as opposed to 21 and 12. High defense as well, but he's somewhat slower, or his evade is zero, as opposed to the higher evade of the other ones. Zadan is sort of like somewhere land, somewhere in the middle between the other characters. He's not, he's fairly strong, he's not extraordinarily strong, but he does quite a bit of damage, and all that kind of stuff. Just a thief class. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. They're gonna be leaving too, it seems. We had fought the other monster somewhere around this point earlier. Oh, look at this. You wonder where it goes. It doesn't go here. Well, wait, that didn't make any sense. Forget I said that. Safe zone, I think. story. I can't not watch it. Okay, they're about to leave. This here is sort of like a restoring spring. If you wanted to, you can sort of hang out around here. No, we have a letter for him. Oh, yeah, maybe this information would have been useful to us earlier. We should read these letters before they get to their destination. But he doesn't have any mail for us. Oh. Cold, huh? If you wanted to, you could just sort of hover around this location, like run out here, stumble around a little bit until you get into a fight, and then go and restore yourself. And it's an easy way to get more experience and to get more AP for your weapons and characters and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm sort of torn whether I think that's a good idea or not, because on one hand, you have in fact, like, you want to gain levels in this, like, almost any other JRPG, because 
your levels are the primary determination of your strength and abilities and all that kind of crap. On the other hand, the characters are... Well, this thing's tougher than I was expecting. The way that the levels are gained in this game are a little bit weird. To the point where, in the early game, you don't want to be gaining a crap ton of levels. Because it's sort of... Your stats are built algorithmically rather than, like, uh, a straight-up base. Like, this is how um, you gain, like, game stats. Sort of almost dynamic in the way that, like, then certain conditions change how your stats grow. And in the early game, you don't really want to be building a lot of levels because your stats don't grow as much. On the other side of things, you have your abilities. Your abilities are given to you by the weapons. I need 55 ability points to have Beast Killer, which I can use now because I'm carrying the broadsword, become part of um, Steiner's base set of abilities, like his limb. It's locked to him. If I get 55 ability points for Steiner, I no longer have to have the broadsword equipped in order to use that ability. And then I can move on to the Iron Sword instead of the Brog Sword. Same thing with the Bronze Helm or the Rubber Helm. You gain enough ability points. And you get, basically, you get the, um, you get the key to that ability. Now, Vivi, I mean, I don't have any, <laughs> I don't have any equipment to change out or upgrade for him, but he has two items here that both give him the fire ability, so... It, it seems like kind of a waste. It would be nice if I had some better stuff. So, on one hand, you don't want to be gaining a lot of levels right now. On the other hand, you want to be gaining a lot of ability points. And that's kind of a pain in the ass, because... If I spend too much time trying to get, say, the Beast Killer ability... Ooh, cool. I spent too much time trying to get the Beast Killer ability or anything like that, then I might run into a problem later on in the game. Uh, like, a little bit later on in the game when the next set of weapons become available to me, but I don't want to switch to them because the weapons between what I have now and the new weapons that are available are, well, um, too... Uh, I'll be missing out on the abilities of the next level of weapons because, you know... I didn't spend enough time getting the first set. It's kind of weird. Ah, shit, I wanted to try stealing from that. Ah, whatever. Well, no, uh, let's get into the... I got 13 experience points. That is enough to give uh, Zadon a new level, and only two ability points. I want to be gaining a lot of ability points, but I don't want to be gaining the experience, necessarily. Gaining experience is nice, though, because I do want more levels, though, so it's kind of a weird game you have to play, balancing everything out. Boss battle time. Now, boss... Boss battles do yield ability points, but not experience, so feel free to take whatever boss you encounter down, because that gives you the ability points, but not the experience. Now, just like in the majority of the battles in this game, I want to be going and trying to steal from it, so Zadon, despite the fact that he is a terribly useless character, or not, not terribly useless, he's a very useful character. Good, uh, attack power, good everything. Check it out. Sword magic. If you have Steiner and BB in the party at the same time, you can use fire weapons, fire swords, or thunder swords. But whatever BB has, it can be linked with Steiner's um, magic of uh, Steiner's sword, and like it becomes more powerful than either one. You know, but it it draws from Steiner's MP, pool, not BB's. have to do through a round of healing. And Vivi's gonna have to start it off. Let's 
So it works like an ability for Steiner. So Steiner is a little bit... He loses a little bit of his utility if you don't have BB in the party. Oh, Blank, how you doing, bro? Yeah, no one wants to step aside so you can do this. That's irritating. It sort of uh, negated the Phoenix Down usage that I tried to... Whatever. There we go. Steiner's been blinded, so a normal attack is perhaps not, uh, will perhaps miss. Oh, wow. I think I have potions. Uh, I'm trying to do so much stealing. Blank is a pretty powerful character. Although it is, it seems to be pretty obvious in this game that he's not, uh, one that's going to be sticking around with us for a long period of time. So I don't think I'm really ruining anything by saying that. But, uh... Ah, jeez. Just steal the damn thing. Okay, Iron Helm. I can just take the fucker down now. Vivi, on the other hand, uh, as opposed to Steiner, his blinded status doesn't really affect him, so I'm not going to be using his weapon. And magic attacks aren't, um... contingent on you being able to see to hit the enemy. Oh, Blank's down. And so is the monster. Blank didn't matter whether he got levels or not. I mean, it was all AP anyway. And I'm being examined some money. Seems kind of bad. I think these things have Phoenix Downs on them. So, in the event that you get into a fight with them while trying to escape, which you will and get in at least one compulsory fight, I think this one here, you will. Uh, Steal that from them. Let's let's see though. I don't know these supposed to be. Are these like plants or monsters or what the hell are these things? Let's get blank back into the game though. They're plants. I mean they're plants. So hitting them with magic fire will uh, take them out. They're not terribly strong. One, one attack brings him out, you know, but, uh, no, no, don't thunder, don't thunder blank, no blank thunder. <laughs> no, stop it with the thunder. Oh, Steiner's still blinded, I should do something about that, oh, or, okay, no, they don't have Phoenix Downs, that's disappointing. Ah, you sons of bitches. I'll have to resurrect them outside of battle, and then... And then, uh, heal them, so we don't have to deal with this kind of crap. Take him out. Oh, that's right, Steiner's flying. <laughs> Vivi's magic right now, because I'll, I'll just let me sit down and take it out. Second fight in a row that Blank didn't survive. <laughs> I hate to 
could waste a Phoenix down on him, but, you know. Use all my potions there. Oh, blind steps. I dropped. Steiner's the only one I'm gonna bother doing that with. Hmm. Was there some good reason why I should take that other one out? Yes, stop. Yes, then stop and wait for it. Yeah, what did he mean by that? Damn, wasted a phoenix down. <laughs> 